Hey guys, so I just really quickly wanted to share what we're doing in this vlog today. So originally, uh, we were going to make this a whole vlog of going down to the distillery district, but you're going to see why we didn't do that. So this vlog is just taking place over the course of a couple of days, and it's just some different little clips here and there of things I thought you'd like. So uh, let's get into it. Hey guys, so I'm starting off today's vlog at like 1.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> But uh, my office, my day job, is moving literally around the corner. But today I'm bringing my iconic little red rag, my iconic little red wagon to the office and I'm gonna see some colleagues and pack up all my stuff. So I keep like most of my blazers at work. Also, it's old city hall in Toronto. Not so beautiful. I, I love looking at that. I love some of the older architecture like that. Anyways, so yeah, it's like 1.30 in the afternoon. I did do some hair and makeup today in the very classic Atlanta style. I'm wearing one of my favorite hats. It's so warm. Got my little tajour bag by Kate Spade along with the scarf that matches my hat. And yeah, so. Definitely wearing a mask in downtown Toronto because we have crazy numbers right now. But yes, I've got all my blazers at work. I have my abandoned makeup bag. Maybe I'll show that to you guys. So many products that I'll have to throw out. Um, and I think I have some gloves and hats there. Lots of shoes. So I'm going to be taking a lot of that stuff home with me. Um, because with the pandemic, I just don't know when I'm going to be back like 9 to 5 in our new office. But the new office space is beautiful. Oh, walking by some of the restaurants I used to love, like Kitsukana on Bay. <sighs> Seeing other restaurants that are closed. Like guys, this part of the city should normally just be bustling and pretty empty. So, it makes me pretty sad. But one other big difference from pre-pandemic is like, I drove to work. <laughs> normally I take the subway, but I just don't really want to risk public transit, you know? So anyways, I'm going to get into my office building and we'll chat soon. So I'm in my office and I'm just going to pack it up. So I've almost got my office all cleaned up and can't believe how much stuff I have there. But I'm just going to go grab a drink. I've been chatting with my colleagues a little bit catching up with them and man I forgot how nice it was to just like see people you know oh just forgot how nice it was to see other people and like chat with people and catch up with them so it's been really nice I've enjoyed it a lot I think we've all been enjoying it <laughs> So we are in the distillery district. They normally do the Christmas market. This year it's called the Winter Village. And it's all set up and everything looks normal. There's the tree and the lights. And it all looks normal, but there's normally a whole bunch of like vendors with like all Christmas gifts and snacks. And I guess the plan was originally that you could maybe pop into some of the stores, but with Toronto in full lockdown, kind of sad it's normally such a fun experience and I normally manage to drag my husband out every year I would say we love going but I think I love going and he puts up with it <laughs> so we came we took a selfie and that's really all there is to do so I think we're gonna go just grab some takeout for dinner or stop at the grocery store or something and head home but it looks beautiful it's just not the same as it usually is
so we went back to cross border pickups and we're just on our way back home and I convinced Stuart that we should get some A&W for lunch so we've got some A&W I love their uncle burger and uh, yeah it's just gonna all be one big crazy vlog but I really like my makeup today so we'll talk about that soon Buddy, what are you doing? Do you like the Ipsy box? There's an Ipsy box under there, but my cat is sitting on it. So I did have a package come. I think it's the Charlotte Tilbury stuff I ordered. But I thought it'd be fun to unbox the packages with you guys. Okay, so I thought it'd be fun to do a little bit of an unboxing and mail haul. So the first thing I wanted to show you, uh, we ordered a Christmas gift for my husband's aunt. Just getting out of the box. And uh, anyways, I would have included this in one of my gift guides, but the shipping just took way too long. So for my husband's aunt, we ordered her the David's Tea Round. Um, the after dinner, it's uh, 12 different caffeine-free teas, and she really enjoys caffeine-free teas, so we thought she'd enjoy this. And then we also got her these two really sweet mugs. Uh, I don't want to take them out of the packaging, but this one's like a purple one. It has like little flowers on the inside. And then this one sort of matches it without matching too much, and it's yellow with purple flowers on the outside. So we thought those were kind of a nice little set, and we just thought it'd be kind of a gift that she would just enjoy. And it's a little card, and I think we get some chocolates as well. Um, okay, next up, we have something I ordered for myself from Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> yeah, pretty pumped about this, not gonna lie. Taking them out. I justify this as like for the blog um, because Charlotte content does really well for me. And so it's really like a business thing. Um, but she released, first of all, how gorgeous is that? She released a new palette called Fire Rose. And at first, first of all, look at that. At first, I was really skeptical about it, if I'm just being honest, because she has so many palettes in that sort of pink, burgundy, gold, sparkly space. Um, but after seeing a few different people review it and try it, like, I was totally sold. Uh, next up, we have a Matte Revolution lipstick, and this is Scarlet Spell, which has little kissing marks on the side. Oh, so beautiful. So, so beautiful. You guys know I love like a nice like burgundy berry for winter. Um, because I spent over a certain amount, I did get a free beauty wand uh, in the Glowgasm shade. So I haven't decided if I'm keep, I have to check if I already have this one, but I haven't decided if I'm keeping it for myself or if it might be in a giveaway I have coming up. And then I'm obsessed with the eyes to mesmerize. So I got two new ones in Sunset Rose and Copper Sunrise. So stay tuned because I will be doing, using some of these in some content. Oh, and then my two free samples, I chose Golden Goddess, um, which is really fun because Pantone just released their colors of the year and it's like a gray and a yellow. And so one of the PR companies I work with, Paul Haber, shared like a picture of how their clients are like ready for Pantone. And they included those. I was like, Charlotte is ready for 2021. And then I also got a sample of uh, Magic Cream Light. Had a sample before, I really enjoy it. So that's basically my little Christmas gift to me, from me, because I love me. Um, oh. I do want to comment on the eyeshadow. So this is um, the Desert Haze palette, which I got in my mystery box. So I will make sure I'll leave a thing down below or up here or something for you guys to watch it. And I'm not gonna lie, when I was putting it on, it was felt a little patchy and it felt really difficult to blend. But now that it's all together, I really like it. Like, I'm not gonna get a little more sunlight on there. But I kind of like it because it's like dark and sexy and smoldery. Um, I'm still kind of making up my mind, but I kind of like it. It feels very sexy. It's also like 
not a typical Alana combo because I would normally have some sparkle on there. But I wanted to use the palette as it was intended um, because I'm working on a video for you guys. So let's just say that I'm wearing a different Charlotte Tilbury quad every day and leave it at that. Okay, next up, we have a gift that I ordered for myself, but my parents paid for, so it's a Christmas gift from my parents. And I wanna start off by saying that this gift was not on Canadian Amazon, was not anywhere in Canada, it was only in the States. So I sent this, to, I ordered it from American Amazon to my US shipping address. And I wanna assure you that I'm 27, not seven, but I ordered myself the Barbie Career of the Year set. This is presidential candidate. This is candidate Barbie. I think she's running for president. This is campaign manager Barbie. This is fundraiser Barbie. And this is Wonder Barbie. Over here. This one. And the career of the year is politics. It's, I guess, in combination with She Should Run, which is like a US organization in Canada. We have an organization called Equal Voice that I used to be the Toronto co chair of. And, uh,. Anyways, I just, I love it because it's like encouraging girls and women to get involved in politics. And I love that it showcases that politics is more than just being the candidate. It's also the team and obviously people who vote. So I just, I love this and it is never gonna leave its box, but I'm gonna wrap it up so I can open a Barbie on Christmas. Um, but I'm gonna wrap it up and then I'm going to put it like on a shelf in my office. But I thought it was so cool like to see. So I am very involved in that in my free time um, and my career sort of intersects with it. And I have served as a campaign manager twice now. And I just thought it was so cool to see like my career and like what I do for a living kind of reflected in Barbie. I, I, and I, I love that girls are gonna see that. So on a totally unrelated note, we have some goodies from Ipsy. Now I will still do this. Uh, this one will be really quick. I'll do it in more detail on my um, other thing. <sighs> on my IGTV, so you guys should watch that. But first of all, the bag for December is so cute and like fuzzy and pink and burgundy and I love it. It's a very Atlanta bag. And then inside of the Ipsy bag that I got sent in PR, I got um, a Pure Lease eye serum. So I'm totally down for that. We have, ooh, a Murad Essential C cleanser. It's a great brand. We've got a Wonder Beauty Jet Black Eyeliner, another great brand, and a Mini Professional. And probably one more thing exploding outside. That's four. But anyways, we'll keep going through the bag. But that is, so far, that's what came in the bag, but there's probably something else in here. Um, does it tell me here? No. Okay, and then, Oh, this is nice. Okay, so this is the bag for Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and it's fuzzy, but it's like lined on the inside to be like easy to wipe. Kind of a, it's a very weird feeling, but I kind of love it. Okay, and then I got the Tula Skincare So Polished um, Sugar Scrub, so that's fun. And then I got the Nomad Toscana Palette, which is an Ipsy, oh, that's neat. It says not for resale, Ipsy glam bag. Okay, let's take a look at this. Let's see what we got in here. Tuscany. Oh, oh wow, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. Oh, that was so pretty. Um, I was supposed to go to Tuscany this summer. Then COVID happened. And then we've got ooh, a QMS day and night cream. And we've got a, oh, this was the other item in my Ipsy bag. So we've got a, a deluxe sample, it almost like full size of their superhero mascara. This is one of my all time favorite mascaras. It's classic, I keep going back to. Uh, then from Ipsy, I have a deck of cards. Um, oh, it has like poker hands. That's neat. I also got another deck of cards in PR this year from Buxom. It had Hailey Bieber on it. This is cool. We've got a nice powder brush. That's nice. That's like a ombre green and gold handle. We've got a Verify 2020 Peptide Eye Cream. I am starting to notice some like fine lines down there. 
Ooh, and then we've got from Ipsy Open Studios, Happy Holidays, it's a 200 piece puzzle. What's it even up? Oh, cool. I see, it has like a, oh, that's fun. That is fun. Okay, do I keep it or do I share it? Okay, and then, that was really sweet. That's like, that's just like fun, you know? And then we've got a refreshments that also came with it. And it says, why settle for basics when you can have refreshments? So it's got like a sticker sheet, holographic stickers. And then this like really cute bag. It's like a new sticker thing there. I don't know. We've got a velvety body cream in citrus spritz. Can I smell it? No, it is all sealed up. And it doesn't really smell good. Thing. And then we've got a cleansing face wipe, 30 of them. These are so good as a YouTuber. Like, I mean, I haven't tried these ones, but wipes are so useful for like taking swatches off. Ooh, I need this. And we have a luscious hand cream and citrus spritz. Okay, this we're trying right now because I don't think I've spoken about hand cream enough. If you've watched my gift guides, you'll know. Let's, let's smell it. Oh, it smells so nice. Oh, it smells so, so nice. I love a nice hand cream. Please don't mind my nails. All the nail salons are closed in Toronto. And that's uh, Monday. And peel. Mmm, it smells like, like a spa lemon scent. Okay, so that is it for this segment of the vlog. Um, let's see what other content I include over the next couple days. So I just stopped at Craig's Cookies, which is like a local, I guess, cookie place. We've got a few locations in Toronto. Also, I love that butcher. It's so many yummy things. Um, so I grabbed some cookies as a little treat. We're gonna wrap some presents tonight. Um, so maybe I'll show you some of that. But I stepped around to shoppers because I realized that I didn't have any tape. I can't really wrap presents without tape. And I need to grab a couple more gifts for Stuart's aunt. Yes, I am on my way. We'll put our differences aside and just enjoy this moment of peace and love and happiness. We come together to celebrate. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. So I'm gonna add just one or two more little segments to this never-ending vlog. Um, I just met up with a friend, physically distant, to give her a little Christmas Hanukkah gift. Christmas from me, but Hanukkah to her. And she had some little uh, Hanukkah candies in Christmas colors for me, and then um, some little leftovers from their baby naming ceremony from their school. So I have some cookies, and they're cute and pink. Um, but uh, I decided I wanted to show you guys what I got at the Bath and Body Works candle sale. So I'm just hopping over to the grocery store. And then once I'm done with that, we're gonna unbox some candles and then this vlog will actually be done. So this is Winston and he doesn't... Let me see if he really doesn't want to be here. Let me see if I can this Oh, there you go. Okay. Well, I tried to include Winston in this. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. But he's probably gonna like walk across the table. 
So I wanted to do a really quick PR unboxing and then I wanted to show you guys what I got at the Bath & Body Works candle sale. So you've already seen some Burt's Bees in my holiday gift guides, but I really wanted to share these because you can get a lot of these products at the drugstore, whether it's Shoppers or Rexall or something closer to you. I know that here in Toronto, we are in a lockdown, which basically other than grocery stores, drugstores are like the only places you can shop in person. You can still do curbside pickup, and, but drugstores are really easy. And especially as we move into last minute gift care territory, I think you're gonna find some great stocking stuffers there. And so that's what I wanted to share with you. So first off, we have the Festive Kisses Trio. This is a little set of three tinted lip balms. Super fun. Then we have the Warm Collection. So these are kind of like they're skinnier, they're lip shimmer. So you've got three of them in there again. This one is super fun because it's a little pyramid and you've got a deluxe care trio. So you've got like a lip scrub, a lip oil, and a lip balm. So I think that's really fun. And then we've got a uh, Hive Favorites, a body lotion and a lip balm. And then I'm saving like sort of like the biggest one for last. Then we've got the Fruit Mix, which again is three lip balms. We've got like strawberry, coconut, pink grapefruit, and pomegranate. Um, and they do have a few other ones of this. I forget the other names of them, but there's basically two or three different flavor combos. Now this one I think is super, super nice. This is the Essential Burt's Bees Kit. Got a whole bunch of different lotions. I would say lotions and potions, but you've got like lotions and you've got a cleanser and lip balm and a foot cream, so that's really nice. And then we have the Burt's Bees Essential Travel Kit. So you've got some face travel, you've got some face cleansers, um, little wipes, you've got a deep cleansing cream, an ultra conditioning lip balm, and tinted lip balm. So these are awesome. And this one in particular, I really like this one because it has so many different products in it and it looks really giftable. And I've been working on putting together a wonderful gift for my nan who lives in a senior's residence and isn't gonna get to celebrate Christmas with us. So I've been really wanting to make sure that her gift is extra special. So I'm gonna be including this one for my nan. Um, I also wanted to give, again, a shout out to this. So there's another one um, that has some more sort of like, not, not that fruit flavor is feminine, but it had some more neutral kind of options. And I got that one um, in some PR from Shoppers Drug Mart. And as I was going through it and sort of deciding what am I keeping, what do I want to pass on to friends and family, what do I want to put in a giveaway, my husband literally grabbed um, the other one here. I'm gonna go grab it, it's on the counter. So this is the one my husband commandeered. It has coconut pear, um, vanilla, the beeswax one, and cucumber mint. And so the coconut pear was definitely the one that I was most interested in. But he has been using, I guess, the vanilla one. So his lips get super dry. So I would really encourage you guys, check out some of these Bee kits for guys as well. My husband always gets excited when something like that comes in because he's like, it's finally something I can use. Um, so he did, he did comment for those. So then from Laura Mercier, we have two goodies. We have this absolutely stunning set to glow translucent loose powder glow and brush set. So I think this is their glow powder. See how I can gently open this. This is their translucent powder uh, in medium deep. So I think I'll have to find that home in medium deep. And then there's a brush. So I think that'd be a little dark for me. And then from Laura Mercier, we also have the Stargazer Mini Caviar Quartet love their caviar sticks. These look so beautiful. So that is what I got in PR. Okay, so now I want to show you guys what I picked up at the Bath and Body Works candle sale. So I told myself I was only going to get six and we almost got there. And the two things I was sort of looking for, well one obviously I saw them store, but I wanted to get a sense of what I was going to enjoy like all day. <laughs> Um, now that I'm working from home, I'm, de I'm like looking over here, I've got like two candles burning. Now that I'm working from home, I'm running candles and using candles so much more than I was pre-pandemic. 
And so I got a couple of scents that I knew I loved and a couple of new ones. So let's start off, I guess, with the old classics. And uh, then we will explore the new ones. I also told myself that I was only allowed to get two of each of the old classics. So I got two of the champagne toast. And one, one thing I really liked, and you might notice this when you're candle shopping at Bath & Body Works, but they have different, um, they might have the same candle, but in different jars. So I chose to get my champagne toast in this really plain, sleek white, uh, white barn jar, because while it is beautiful at the holidays, it really, you can use it all year. So I didn't want to be stuck in holiday packaging. Meanwhile, fresh, oh, and I should just say, this one, oh, I just love it. Let me see if I can tell you what the scent, what it says here. Champagne toast, bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and sweet orange. It has, like the citrus is what comes across the most with that one. So, well, this one was available in other packaging. Refreshed balsam, uh, which is another absolute favorite of mine. I discovered it last holiday season. I wanted the holiday packaging because it's the kind of scent that you're gonna really enjoy around the holidays, but it's not too Christmassy. It's really just more of like a winter packaging so I can enjoy it all winter long and, mm. I love that one. So this one has woodland balsam, Chris eucalyptus, and fir branches. And it just smells like a winter wonderland forest. So that's it for the classic scents. Those are two of my favorites. And I wanted to show you some of the new ones I got. So I've got Fiji White Sands, which I put in the white barn jar. I just love for this jar, just how sleek and clean it looks. Like it's just understated, you know? Oh. Okay, so this one is fresh cut sugarcane, white nectarine, and sandalwood. It smells so sweet and beautiful. I'm definitely excited to enjoy this one. And then the last one for the white barn packaging, noticing a trend here, is fresh orange. And that one, it just smells like a fresh cut orange. It says freshly grated orange zest, sparkling citrus, and white jasmine. And you guys know I love jasmine in my tea, so I, I love how fresh this one smells. Another one that'll be great for spring is rose. And I just, I kind of like the roses on here. That was pretty. Mm. Okay, so this one, it's, it's just rose. It's, it, the only thing written on it is rose. And it just has a beautiful like, powdered rose scent. And then this one was super fun. This one was like totally an impulse purchase and it's a frosted Moscow mule so it's mm, it's like orange and ginger which I mean is what a Moscow mule is sweet lime lemon zest and sugar cane so okay not quite but it does have like a zesty orange ginger scent oh it smells so good and this packaging is like a little bit holiday it's like a little bit starry night but it's not too much so I was very mindful of the packaging and the scents. I told myself I was gonna get six. I got eight candles, so you know, like I can live with that. Um, I'm really excited about the ones I got. I'm burning them all the time. I haven't dug into these ones yet. I did also realize as I looked under my bed with my candle stash that I had about four or five left over from last year. Uh, but I'm confident that by the time, like I really enjoy, I mean, I like candles all year but I really enjoy them in sort of November to March. I'm fairly confident that by the end of March I'm going to be down some candles. I've actually already finished off two but before I break in any new ones I really want to finish up some that are already open. So it's really easy to get to like 50 hours of burn time when you work from home because you just light one in the morning and just keep going. So oh and one other thing. Um, I redeemed some points at Sephora. Still waiting for my latest purchase for that beautiful palette. But I absolutely love the Amica Soul Food Nourishing Mask. The last time I used this one in particular uh, was when I had a spa day um, at the Salah Spa in Baby Village. But love the mask. And then I also picked up a dry shampoo, which honestly, let's just try it because I could probably use one today. I definitely went through a phase where I wore, like, used dry shampoo all the time. It's just like tossed it in there. I definitely went through a phase where I used dry shampoo all the time, 
Um, but especially now that I'm working from home, I just don't. I just will like put my hair in a ponytail. Okay, it actually works pretty well. The other reason my hair is kind of greasy is, it's not that greasy, but um, I, I've been really just, especially working from home, I've been really, really focusing on my hair care. And um, so I will have a hair video for you coming for you guys because you've asked for that a lot. Uh, but one of the things I've been doing lately since I'm at home and I just put my hair back in a ponytail is I'll just like put my favorite oil on my hair from about here down um, because my hair is so long and has layers. So I will just literally coat all of this in my favorite oil. Uh, so anyways. The dry shampoo wasn't really a selling factor for me. I definitely wanted the hair mask, but I'm not gonna say no to the dry shampoo. One other thing I wanted to ask you guys is what you think of my makeup today. I'm really enjoying it. Um, you will have noticed this vlog is made up of a whole bunch of different days. But um, in my free time, I've been giving a friend, um, or like a friend of a friend, now a friend, um, some sort of paid makeup tutorials on Zoom. So she asked for a smoky eye, so I, uh, I started like a practice one yesterday because it's just not really a style I do a lot, like an everyday smoky eye. And I'm really digging it. So let me get a little closer. So let me know if you'd like a tutorial on sort of an everyday smoky eye on this look because um, I'm, I'm just really enjoying it. And I think it looks really pretty and like simple and yeah. So anyways. All of that is to say, those are my candles. That's where I got with my score points. Let me know if you want to see that video and on to whatever the next section of this vlog is going to so be. I'm in the lobby at my building and I'm visiting with my friend Sarah and it's just a And her dog, Porter, I'm gonna steal him because he's the best. What do you think? Should I steal him? I mean, borrow. But um, Porter is actually the reason Sarah and I are friends because we met in the elevator because Porter is such a suck and we just bonded over and we ran into each other at a mutual friend's wedding like a month later and we drove Sarah home and now she's like one of my three building friends but mostly Porter but Sarah's an okay part Sarah's an okay part of my life because of Porter so I wasn't going to include this in the vlog, but like, look at that face. How could I not? How could I not? Porter, are we going to run away together? Yes, we are. Okay. Yes, Say bye to YouTube. Bye. 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 Okay guys, so that wraps up our vlog for the week. My husband and I are just on our way to drop off some Christmas and birthday gifts at his parents' house. And we're heading back home. Um, but this makeup I'm obsessed with today, it was the Fire Rose Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not sure if my um, video dedicated to that palette is going to be up by the time the vlog is, but if it's not, it is coming very soon. And I have like a red light on me. Okay, this is kind of weird. Anyways, if not, it is coming very soon. And today, I just wanted to thank all of you guys. So today, I did my first ever live on YouTube, and I was just so thankful for how many of you guys came out and asked questions and engaged in the conversation. I really, really enjoyed it. I loved getting to connect with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. It seems like a lot of you did, um, so I would definitely love to make that a more regular part of our channel and our community, so if you're interested, um, I think it'd be really fun to do that like once a month. There we go. There's just like a oh, traffic light. Anyways, I think that'd be really fun to do once a month. Um, I thought we had a great conversation. And again, thank you to everyone who joined me. It definitely made my day. So thanks again, guys. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.